good day, future master guides. Welcome to our basic staff training program. And we are now in our section six, which talks about teaching the Pathfinder curriculum. We cannot deny the fact that in the near future, he will be handling Pathfinder clubs. He will be a Pathfinder directors in, in a school in our, or in a local church area. So this um, lecture is very important for you to know how to handle or to teach Pathfinder curriculum. What is the objective of this lecture? So, to discover the importance and value of create, creative approaches to teaching and to learn ways of developing one's own creative style of teaching. So, it is very important for you as a club director to know the creative ways how to manage a Pathfinder club because you will be handling children comes from different family backgrounds with different interests and you know with dif different personality and principles so we need to have a creative kind of teaching to different uh, individuals another one is to provide information on ways to teach the pathfinder curriculum in a creative manner yes in a creative manner but before we go further let us define what is creativity why it is need in teaching the pathfinder curriculum so according to online dictionary it says that creativity means the use of the imagination or original ideas especially in the production of an artistic work imagination so you are going to imagine things ideas that will that you could able to produce an artistic work according to businessdictionary.com it is a mental characteristic that allows a person to think outside the box which results in innovative or different approaches to a particular task. Outside the box, you will not limit yourself inside the box only, but you have to think outside the box. What else could I do to improve the Pathfinder Club that I am handling? Another meaning of creativity according to creativity at work that it says that creativity is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. It means that we are not until imagination only. We are not until thinking of what is new and what is best. But the most important is we are going to um, turn it into a reality. Your imagination will be useless if you don't know how to to turn in into a reality. Creativity is characterized by the ability to perceive the world in new ways, to find hidden patterns, to make connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena, and to generate solution. Creativity involves two processes, thinking, then producing. So creativity, it's not only focused on planning okay uh, it's not only how you are going to manage a certain group or a certain club but it also talks about how are you going to generate solution when problem arise thinking and then producing you are not only thinking you are not until thinking only you have to produce something out of your creativity so this lecture will, will be divided into two parts. First one, we are going to, to tackle about understanding creativity. What is the purpose? Why do we need to be creative in teaching the Pathfinder curriculum? And um, the second one is how to teach the Pathfinder curriculum creatively. What are some tips? What are some strategies to make, to teach 
the Pathfinder curriculum creatively. So let's go to the uh, first part, understanding creativity. What are some of the purposes and values in the use of creative activities? So these are the things as follows. Number one, it makes learning more enjoyable, lasting, and meaningful. When you have activities that are creative in the eyes or in the perception of the pathfinders, the learning will be more enjoyable. Enjoyable in the sense that it is creative because creative things are supposed to be enjoyable. Lasting, yes. Once that child enjoy learning, that learning will last for longer time. And meaningful, yes. And it will be a meaningful experience for the pathfinders or for your students to, to learn in Pathfinder activities. Second, it provides opportunity for self-expression and development of creativity. Your creativity will trigger or will awaken the creativity of your Pathfinders or of your students. It will provide them self-expression. Yes, because it will it will um, encourage them to think also outside the box, okay? Number three, it instills pride in accomplishments and builds self-confidence. When someone has accomplishment, of course, we are very proud of ourselves, right? So it also, uh, um, it, it's the same with the pathfinders that you are going to handle. It will instill pride in their accomplishments and they will be having they will build a self confidence because they have accomplished something and also for you as the one who is um, making the program creatively another one is it contributes to the development of proper self concepts yes and it also provides for participation in group situations and reaction to establish group approval and behavior. When you, when you make your Pathfinder curriculum creatively, it's not only you who will benefit, but also your students, your Pathfinders who are um, included in the program that you are creating. Okay, another one. It fulfills a pathfinder's need for individual expression. Human as we are, we need to, or it is our greatest need to express ourselves. So it will, your creativeness will fulfill a pathfinder's need for individual expression or for, for self-expression. Number seven is it relieves periods of physical restlessness with meaningful activity coordinating mind and muscle. So your creativeness has more benefits, more than you think. So when we try to make meaningful activity, it will give rest and peace, not only to physical, but also to mental and uh, in muscles, coordinating minds and muscles. It also prompts respect for both adults and peer leadership. It affords opportunity to practice principles of Christian living. It helps the pathfinder respect the property of others. What else? It reaches cooperation, sharing and taking thorns. Because in, in some activities, you, um, there are activities, creative activities that needs brainstorming, needs cooperation, needs particip participation in a group. So if it is a group activity, there should be taking turns. There should be sharing within the members of that group. It can emphasize a Bible concept or illustrate a truth. And lastly, 
it provides opportunities for the pathfinder to express his or her relationship to God and a response to Bible teaching. Keeping these purposes and values in mind, teachers and leaders will have opportunity to observe the pathfinders developing theological concepts and behavior responses. So if we keep these things in mind, as a pathfinder director, as a club director, you will have the opportunity to observe your pathfinders theological and behavioral res responses. And this will help you as a leaders in your teaching, in the relationship with the pathfinders, in the selection of creative activities to effect successful learning experiences. So these are the purposes and values to use in the use of creative activities in your Pathfinder Club someday. So what are the steps in a creative process? If you are going to make your curriculum, your program creatively, what are the steps in this creative process? Of course, in every in every program and everything that you have are preparing there should be a preparation or an orientation okay you cannot go to a battle without preparation so there must in first step is always preparation in your preparation you ask questions what is the problem and what are the approaches why is it necessary why do i need to create Pathfinder Club in my local church or in the school where I am teaching or in my place where I am assigned as a district pastor or a layman? Why do I have to, to create this Pathfinder Club? Where should it be done? If you have activities, you already created your Pathfinder Club, you're already starting your Pathfinder Club ministry, then you have some activities in mind you should ask yourself, where should it be done? For example, you are thinking for a camping or for a hiking or for, for some outdoor activities. Where should it be done? When should it be done? You are planning for outdoor activities. Of course, you want it to be enjoyable. Siyempre, hindi nyo pagtabuon, tigululan. Okay? Who should do it? Who are the persons responsible in making this uh, planning into a reality what should be done and how should it be done so in preparing for a creative process or creative activity these are some things that you need to prepare but in your preparation you cannot deny the fact that sometimes there are some errors that will take place in your preparation or even in implementing your creative strategies or creative activities. So these errors could be serviceable errors. In some services, there are some errors that we cannot, um, that is beyond our control. Blind errors, errors that you are not expecting it just came without notice so blind errors wala mo nakita nga matabo in the future errors of incompetence when we say competence it is the ability of a person to do his or her best in a in a things that is that is um, ginghatag sa iya. So if there are some errors of incompetence, maybe one of your members or one of the people who are doing this activity are not able to do his or her best to make the program more creative and meaningful. Okay, what else? Okay, if there are some errors, of course, there are for frustrations. Okay? When problems occur in a program or in a planning, there are also frustration. Or when we say you, you would say, forget it, or repression. 
forget that program anymore. We will not pursue it because of the problems arise there. We have no services. We don't know where to where to put it. Where who we don't have manpower to do it. So forget it. So repression or retreat or what we call regression. Flight from the reality when you are already in that certain situation, you are already um, doing the activity and then the problem arise, then you are going to flight from the reality. I cannot face this situation. So I have to flight. You, you retreat. Okay. Compensation. Let's substitute. So because there are some members, there are some um, people with you who are incompetent. So you're going to let's substitute. Substitute it. Find another one, okay? Um, or the program, you are not, you are not, um, what we call this? You are not okay with the program. It seems this, this planning has so many errors and so many problems arise. So forget this, substitute, plan for another program. And emotional excess, anger versus resignation. So there are some problems in a, in a program or in, in some activities that made you very angry. So there is an emotional excess. It means it already reached to the highest point. So because you're already angry, you will resign or you will, you will, you know, you know that you'll, hindi, nako di ah, puli, nako, daw amo na. So, hindi mo na pagpadayuno ng imo nga trabaho dira, even though you are very important in that, in the accomplishment or in the success of the activity that you are doing. So, according to uh, Hutchinson, once profitable orientation toward creative work is lost and frustrations begin to mount, there is no short technique of recovery but change and rest. Difficult as it may be to give oneself up to these things, sleep, travel, quiet relaxation, leisurely walking or not too so strenuous muscular exercise, shutting oneself in silence in a room, lively social participation, any non-habitual or non-routine response, all may be alternation of interest in one form of another. So if there are first frustration mounts in a group handling Pathfinder a club, so just sleep, just go travel, quiet relaxation, you know, um, find peace in nature. So do not dwell too much on the problem, okay? Find time to relax. Okay, next. Achievement, yes, if you, are, if you are developing a program, if you are making a program for your Pathfinder Club, you should um, positive, you, have, you should have this positive attitude, attitude toward achievement. Yeah, it's coming or it's here. Yes, padayunta, arina, ato na ni. So there, your achievement, in, in some ways, dapat embrace mo siya. You should embrace that achievement even though just a small success in your program. Verification, okay? It will, it will develop a critical attitude, a de develop an attitude toward the work. So if you are working together in groups, your attitude will be developed. Then, evaluate. Since we are talking about the, we are talking about the steps in a creative process. This is now the last steps. Evaluate. You should evaluate the pros and cons. You should evaluate where are the things that I am lacking as a director. And then, if the if you have found out that the program is good. If the strategy is good and successful, then repeat the process. But those that gives you problem, those that will make the program unsuccessful, take those processes. Okay. Let us see what are some creativity tools. So these are some um, suggested tools given in the manual, the program computer 
storytelling, brainstorming, listing, sculpturing. It could be people or paper cups or uh, there are many ways in sculpturing. Topjects or objects illustrating specified topics. Brainstorming is um, what we call this. This is a process where you are going to group a people, give them a situation, give them a program, uh, I mean a problem, and then they are going to brainstorm each other to solve that problem. So it is one of the creativity tools that I could see the most um, effective in a group. Okay. Topjects, or what we call the object, illustrating a specified topics. Okay, let's proceed to our part two, which is called the teaching the pathfinder curriculum. Okay, we are now in our part two, teaching the pathfinder curriculum creatively. So the Pathfinder curriculum will be taught to the Pathfinders when they meet together as a whole club. Yes, when they meet together as a whole club, of course, you're going to teach this Pathfinder curriculum. As they work together as a unit or in a classes, there will also be times when Pathfinders will need to study materials by themselves so it's up to you how are you going to to um, give the curriculum to your pathfinders so teacher will therefore recognize that it will be important to assess each pathfinder each group of pathfinders its requirement the physical surroundings where teaching takes place and a whole range of further facts that lead or factors that lead to the successful transfer of knowledge. So it is important to remember that the overall aim of teaching the curriculum is to allow the pathfinders to develop an appropriate attitude toward further learning. This will take place best when teachers make efforts to bring about the right atmosphere for learning in the place of teaching. Always remember that a child could learn best when the atmosphere is good, and especially when there is a good relationship between the teacher and the students. So when is the learning takes place? When is the learning takes play, place? So learning takes pl place best when it's time for fun. Always remember that you will be dealing with teenagers. Okay, you will be dealing with um, Generation Z, should I, should I say. So this, these generations are, what we call this, unexpectable. They're, they need more understanding. They need more attention. They, they only want fun. Yes, they only want fun. If you have activities that will not awaken their interest they will not be interested to take part of your activity okay but finders will, will learn to love the things they enjoy doing not only but finders even as adults of course we love to think to do things that we enjoy right and enjoyment stems from happy surroundings if the teacher is overly stern and demanding or constantly finding fault, learning will become a burden. It, if there's no place for humor and laughter, if the pathfinders are always being told to remain quiet, to sit and listen, and there is no sense of adventure and learning, the experience will be of little value. So as a Pathfinder directors, it will be your uh, challenge to how to make this curriculum creatively, creative and fun. Okay, remember what just I said, if the Pathfinders will only be, be commanded or demanded the, to remain quiet, to sit and 
to sit and listen. There is no fun. There is no enjoyment. They will not learn. Okay? Their experience will be of a little value. If you, as a Pathfinder director, as a club director, is very demanding, no, no humor, since not serious, no, pero may ka pang king. So, your students will be affected. Their learning will be affected. Okay, letter B. It's time for acceptance and understanding. Okay, it's time for acceptance and understanding. But finders will be more ready to show interest in information and learn values from the instructor if they feel accepted and understood. Children nowadays are very, very... They're moody. They change their mood frequently. No. Sa buong kakadlaw, pagkadugay mahibi, dugay-dugay masunggod, hindi mo gandang maintindihan, hindi mo ma-expect ang ilang mood. So, they need acceptance and they need to be understood. Acceptance stems from recognition of the pathfinder's worth and value. And the knowledge that their behavior is their best attempt to deal with the current thoughts, feelings, and situation. So, it should be um, dapat makita gidila that they are valued and they are in, with worth. So, fab favoritism should not have any place when you are handling correct, uh, I mean, the, the pathfinders. If makita nila nga you have favoritism, you like this, this student match, so dito na, mag ano na. Chill, uh, problems will, will arise. Another one is it's time for recognition and creativity. But finders will be encouraged in their learning when instruction take the time to give genuine praise and affirmation. Human as we are, we, we, we love to be recognized, of course. We love to be appreciated. We love to be um noticed okay so of course also the pathfinder so you have to recognize in everything that they do good things that they do dapat gid na sila i recognize and i affirm pathfinders need recognition for their best efforts and instructors can do much to lead them on on their search for knowledge by sincere and honest reward Again, I would like to emphasize sincere and honest reward. If you are going to appreciate a person, it should be true and honest and sincere. Not just a flatter, not just to flatter them. Hoy, nami na, mi balay mo brabisan hindi. Just to, ano lang gid. Because, you know, it will bring, it will give bad effects man sa ila. So, do not flatter. Say what is truth. Say what is truth. Uh, real, okay? Letter D, it's time for imagination and creativity. Instructors need to give urgent study to this aspect of teaching. So many good classes fail because of lack of imagination and variety. Inaabalang ulit-ulit lang a programa. There should be a variety. Creativity is really essential in teaching pathfinders in an age where much information is transferred through the medium of TV. Any straight talk may well appear slow, boring, and attractive. For example, just like this, we're having a lecture. You are having your basic staff training program. Supposed to be, if this is face-to-face, -face, it will it will good for two hours. For pathfinders, this is not uh, applicable. It will be boring for them. A, a long talk, hindi na sila magbaton. So there must be an imagination and there must be a variety of activities for pathfinders. Letter E, it's time for effective communication. Learning will also take place best if the pathfinders recognize that they are being listened to. They will learn to appreciate their worth as they discover that their instruction instructor considers their answer worth 
while that the instructor shows approval of their attempts at understanding the materials. Children wants to be listened to. Bisan kis awala pulo sila ginahambal. You need to listen because it will determine their value and their worth if someone is listening to them. So during your lectures or during your activity, if someone attempts to answer a question, to to display his or her understanding, even though it is a it is a wrong answer, you have to listen and you have to recognize the one who is giving that answer. So bisan sala sige lang, e recognize lang gapo ninyo. And what else? Next one is learning take place best when it's time for fairness and justice. I just told you a while ago about fa favor fa favoritism. Okay? So, pathfinders are quick to notice partiality, unfairness, or favoritism. Just what I like I said. Instructors will need to be conscious of the need to be equal in praise and discipline even though you hate that student so much you hate that person so much you cannot do it in your pathfinder club walang personal and trabaho lang so in, in when it comes to discipline when it comes to praising when it comes to to um giving rewards you must be equal there must be no partiality no favoritism it's time for involvement. Instructor should seek to involve the class as much as possible. View the class as the teachers. Allow them to lead out in different segments. Get them doing something. Seek dialogue with the class to see how they are enjoying working on a particular requirement and review with them what they have learned. So as much as possible, make them involved in any activities that's why in high school department we have this um separate program for them because if you will not involve these students they will lack interest in going to church okay and another one is it's time for constant assessment constantly evaluate the work you are doing and check to see if you are reaching and achieving the goals you set for yourselves and the class it assessment is very important it will tell you if there are any any progression if there are any development in your class so make a constant assessment and lastly it's time for cooperation teaching a particular class will best happen when done in association with the other all plans of the club a coordinated program will be needed for each pathfinder event and instructors staff members and the, the the director will work well together when all are aware of the program times are especially during uh, for example during induction ceremony or pathfinder uh, investiture program so everyone must cooperate Okay, everyone must cooperate. So those are the, uh, what we call this, those are the things that we need cons to consider in taking place learning for your students. So let's proceed to special teaching arrangements. Okay, so there are some special arrangements with your students. So in special cases, there are provisions made for isolated pathfinders to participate in the program apart from the pathfinder organization of course you you cannot force them to to join another clubs or to join another program apart from the pathfinder organization hindi mo man sila pag hold lang dira hindi mo sila pag hold nga hindi dapat diri lang kamo sa pathfinder no let them explore because they are teens Likewise, provision can be made for the physically handicapped and the disadvantaged. So if there are members of the club that is physically handicapped, or this is what we call them a person with, a person with disabilities, so you, you, give them, uh, you give them special treatment or um, 
you give them what we call this provision. For example, you have a student that is ano siya, inang piang siya. So, alangan mo man siya pilito niya mag-marching in drilling kay piang gani siya. There are some students that have heart diseases. Uh, low, low, low sila pag-abot sa mga um, strenuous activity. Of course, they have to prohibit them in doing strenuous activity during your camping or during your activities. So, if this is happening in your um, club, you have to contact your local conference youth ministries personnel to work details for exemptions. Do not force your students to do something when it is beyond their capability. What are the teaching method that is needed to, to in, in teaching the Pathfinder curricul curriculum? So no attempt has been made here to set out every detail of teaching methods. Each class requirement will require a different approach. Remember, Pathfinders is composed of six different classes. Six different classes have different requirements, different approach. Depending on factors such as time of day, place, number of participants, availability of resources, and similar factors. Wherever possible, instructors should plan several alternative teaching methods for each requirement and use the one best suited to the group and the occasion. Okay? Tapat may ara ka mga alternative teaching methods. Before setting out to teach a class, teachers would do, would consider the following. Okay? When you are going to to set up your class, there are some consideration that you need to, to ponder upon. Number one is study the class curriculum. As a teacher, of course, before you step in into your classroom, you should have studied your lesson beforehand. You should have mastered the topic that you are going to teach. To, the same in our Pathfinder curriculum. Before you are going to so implement the program in your Pathfinder class, study first the class curriculum. Familiarize the overall direction of the Pathfinder curriculum. Study the flowchart found in the training manuals, which outline the development of the selected areas of study. Become very aware of the place your particular class has in the overall scheme of the program. So, when you, when you become a Pathfinder Club Director, you have to study the flow, the flow chart. You should always become familiar with the particular class requirements for the class of Pathfinders that you will have under your care. Remember that each class, friend, companion, etc., they have different requirements because they have dif different age gaps, remember? They have different age. So they have different requirements. They have different activities. So you have to familiarize what activity is suited in each class. Become aware of what is expected to the pathfinders. Know what the requirement is asking for. Make sure you understand the stated objective for the requirement. And then familiarize yourself with the resource material. What else? Get to know the details about the members of your Pathfinder class. Who are they? What are their learning abilities? And what are their attitudes toward particular subjects? Are there any Pathfinders in your group who require extra help in learning information? Could there be problems in the particular methods you choose to teach the class? So these are the things that you need to consider in uh, handling before handling or implementing activities for your Pathfinder clubs. Next, assess the number in needs of your class. Get to know details about your Pathfinder class. How many and what are the needs in each class. 
So you also have to assess that things. Hindi ka lang basta-basta mag-implement mag, uh, some program without knowing how big is your class. Then work out your teaching plan. Instructors will need to develop a suitable teaching plan based on the following. Okay? Take note of this. The total number of 30-minute periods required to teach the class. The number of 30-minute periods required to each to teach each section of the class work. So, there are 30 minutes for each section of the class work. For example, Bible search, camping, um, storytelling. So, 30 minutes period lecture for each class. The alternative teaching methods available for teaching each requirement, the particular time and place when you will be teaching the requirement, the availability of additional resources and background material, the method of evaluation to be used when the requirement is completed. Okay? So these are the things that you need to consider. So if you have your teaching plan, you have to work it out. Sayang man ay mo nga teaching plan kung hindi mo pag E work out. Okay, let's proceed to the next slide. It talks about Pathfinder classes. So in considering the Pathfinder program, there are many areas in which one should become involved in order to guide the development of a well-rounded Pathfinder. Okay, what are these areas? What are these areas? Okay. A, letter A, Pathfinder classwork. What are these Pathfinder classwork? Anong buot sing anong sining Pathfinder classwork? So to, to determine this classwork, first let us listen or, and learn to this, uh, the writings of Mrs. White from Councils to Parents, Teacher and student, Students, page 168. It says that children are to be trained to become missionaries. They must be helped to understand distinctly what they must do to be saved. They must be helped. They could not do it with themselves. They need help. They need to be trained from their teachers, from their Pathfinder Club director. And from education page 13, and the best preparation is the harmonious development of the physical, the mental, and the spiritual powers. It prepares the student for the joy of service in this world and for the higher joy of wider service in the world to come. This is the best preparation. And where can they get this preparation? Of course, in our Pathfinder training. Okay? Since both men and women have a part in homemaking, Take note of this because I believe that this is not only for the Pathfinders. And before you are going to teach them to your Pathfinders, teach first yourself because there are so many master guides that, is, that are unaware of these um, writings of Ellen White. Maybe they're not really unaware. Maybe they're aware, but they are not able to apply this in themselves, okay? Again, since both men and women have part in homemaking, boys as well as girls should gain a knowledge of household duties. Okay, that is very clear. Household duties is not only for girls, but also for boys. What are these household duties, by the way? Okay, I put an emphasis there in the slide. I in color, I put it in a different color to really catch your attention. So what are these household duties? To make a bed and put a room in order. You cannot excuse boys. You will not say, we are boys, we are men. You should consider and you should understand that we are not, or in, we are not in order in our room. No, it's not an excuse. Being man is not an excuse to have a disorder room. To wash dishes, 
to prepare a meal, to wash and prepare his own clothing is a training that need not make any boy less manly. It will make him happier and more useful. This is the things that we need to teach to our pathfinders. Let us teach them to do these things and upon doing these things, these are not make them less manly, but it will make them happier and more useful in their respective homes. Boys in this generation would think nga pambabayi lang gid nga mga ubra. Preparing a meal, washing dishes. It will, you know, it will decrease their, their pagiging lalaki. But the message from Ellen White is very clear that household duties are not only intended for girls but also for boys. Sa mga girls naman. And if girls in turn could learn to use the saw and the hammer as well as the rake and the hoe, they would be better fitted to meet the emergencies of life. So for our girls, dapat tudloan natin ang mga girls na hindi magpasosyal-sosyal. Hindi magpasosyal-sosyal. Saw and hammer. Ang pagpamanday is not only for boys. Bisan gamay-gamay lang na pamulpog-pulpog sang martilyo, they should learn it. It would be better fitted to meet the emergencies of life. So what are these um, class works? Okay, it says here, It was from the study of this and other similar messages that the Pathfinder classes were developed. Because of this message of Ellen White, the Pathfinder club is developed and all the requirements for these classes are based on the learning and learning of useful and helpful things to do about um, i'm sorry and all the requirements of these classes are based on this instruction okay the requirements in the pathfinder club is based on the instruction in the writings of ellen white as i have uh, the, the one that i have read okay they include, therefore, Bible, nature study, the learning of useful and helpful things to do about the home, or this is what we call household duties, out-of-door activities, first aid, physical fitness, and service for others. If you have noticed, these things are also required in the Master Guide Club. These are also required in our Pathfinder Club because the Pathfinder Club is based upon the instruction of Ellen White in the, in the book of education. So, educating a child is not only um, giving them about a course or a subject, these are the things that they need to meet the emergencies in life and for survival. Okay. Also, this will this will this helps the youth to find true happiness in witnessing and to become a member of a great army of Adventist youth. Always remember that we are training an army. So if you are training our army, you yourself must be a trained commander also. Army of Adventist youth whose talents and energies are committed to Christ. As a commander, are you committed to Christ also? There will be those whose hands are ready to grasp any emergency and turn it to the glory of the great master guide. The Pathfinder classes, always remember, I know you're already familiar to this. The Pathfinder club is composed of six classes. We have friend, 10 years of age, a companion, explorer, ranger, voyager, and guide before they will becoming a master guide and the one of the main objective of the pathfinder club is to prepare the youth for life 
with its emergencies and help the youth to become useful, useful to both man and God. Again, the objectives of the Pathfinder Club is to make our youth become useful to both God and man. The Pathfinder Class pro Program has, has been established with this in mind. It therefore seems important to guide the Pathfinder into this program of self-improvement. We should keep this in mind. We are not only uh, building or designing a club for temporary or for useless, useless things. Being a Pathfinder has a great responsibility. Okay. Tips to maintain enthusiasm for Pathfinder owners. So what are um, some things that we could do to maintain the energy, to maintain the interest of our Pathfinders in complete, completing their Pathfinder honors? Number one, have a definite date for completion. When the class is started, plan to finish the work within that time period. This gives the student that enthusiasm needed to know that the class is moving along and going some place. So in every requirement, there must be a definite date for completion. For example, um, in master guides who are using passports, also in Pathfinder clubs, they have passport. They also have requirements. They also have lectures. So there must be a definite date for completion. And if you have set a date for completion, stick to it. Do not change your mind. Nang pirmi pirmi na lang. Oh, deadline sobong. Pag-abot sa deadline, hey, sige, next month na lang. So your pathfinders will say, um, okay lang, di man kaya po na deadline gid nga to doon. So, Set a definite date of completion and then stick to it. That will give your pathfinder the enthusiasm to finish comple completing their work. Okay, what else? Make the classwork worthwhile. If interest is to be kept at a high level, the classwork must not only be fun but also informative and helpful. It is very important that the classwork or the activity in the Pathfinder Club is fun, but, be, but being fun alone is not uh, good. It must also informative and helpful. They could learn it. They could apply it in, our daily, in, in their daily living. The Pathfinder must do all the requirements. Yes, they must do all the requirements before they are uh, promoted to the next class. A class notebook is helpful in ke keeping up interest and gives something to students to take home as reference in the work accomplished. So there is a suggestion here of a class notebook where they are going to write all their uh, activities that they have accomplished. Also, when they are going to bring this at home, their parents can, sh can show that uh, there are learnings nga makuha gida ila bata sa Pathfinder Club. So, uh, for us, we have passports, no? This will awaken our enthusiasm to do our requirements. Okay, kung hindi natin matapos atong password, pass, passbook, we will not be, our passport, we will not be uh, invested as a master guide. So, um, do something or create something that will awaken the interest of your students in accomplishing the work. Meeting Pathfinder Honor Requirements. Okay, you should meet Pathfinder Honor Requirements. The work must actually be performed. Each question must be answered correctly and each requirement, requirements must have been met. Perform. When you uh, teach not tying, not tying is a ano gid, um, performing. Hindi mo siya dalon sa quiz, quiz lang. So, in order for them to, 
to to be given honor in or patches in not tying they must perform not tying okay dapat makaperform makita mo gid nga na makaperform sila eight not bisan mga basic not lang dira they can they they must perform it and they must answer it correctly and every requirement must have been met before they are um they are um, what we call this before they could go to the next level all honors must be signed for by the instructor conference youth director master guide but finder club director or church school teacher if you are if you have passport in your pathfinder club anyone in the tanan nga tanan nga tao pwede ka per madira so there are persons nga amo lang ni siya ang may uh, authorized to sign for each um, requirement or for each honor okay encourage each pathfinder to a master awards pathfinder honors are categorized into the following groups we have arts and crafts health and science household arts outdoor industries outreach recreation and vocation so encourage your students to aim for the master awards because in the master awards there are advanced learning and skills that they could learn in this master awards next is investiture services it is your responsibility as the pathfinder club director to ask the conference to conduct an investiture service you cannot um, put this responsibility in the hand of your pathfinder officers Oh, kamu officers, kamu bahala da sa inyo nga investiture. No, as a Pathfinder Club Director, it is your responsibility to ask for investiture service. Where there is no club, the church school teacher places the request. All who are to be invested must be able to present their Pathfinder class card to be signed by the Conference Youth Ministries Director prior to the investiture service make sure that before investiture service all pathfinders have accomplished all the requirements for their honors records are kept both by the pathfinder club secretary and the conference office of all who receive certificates honors and pins so these are the things that when you need to consider in maintaining enthusiasm for pathfinders honors pathfinder honors and to make the pathfinder club teaching the pathfinder cur curriculum creatively and uh, maintaining the fun and the good learning experiences in your pathfinder club so as master guides to be and as the club directors to be in the future we should have kept in this mind the true purpose the true objective of pathfinder club again pathfinder club is not only a requirement for the school or it is it is not only for enjoy for fun for learning but most especially there is a greater objective that we must attain and be kept in mind as we handle these pathfinders if you have some question about this lecture just a comment and i will try my best to answer them once again master guides aspirants master guides to be good luck in your training and we will be um we will be seeing you as a master guide not the magdugay you will be in your name you will be called a master guide so once again thank you and have a good day everyone